What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in downtown Phoenix. As you guys can see, not the normal setting, but you guys have been asking for more behind the scenes stuff and what goes on. So I'm gonna just try and bring the camera everywhere we go moving forward. As you guys can see by the last couple of videos, we've changed the vibes up a little bit. We've incorporated some new things. For example, transitions are now those photo slides. And at the end of the videos, for those of you guys make it all the way through, I show all of the slides of the photos I used inside of those transitions at the end of the video. So in this video, make sure you guys stay tuned for that at the end. Now you guys know today is the first drop of our vintage collection online. So we appreciate all the support. I think it's gonna do really well. We only did 30 pieces for our first drop. And by the time you guys have seen this, the drop is already already live so for everyone that joined our text message club that we mentioned in the last video that's been going on for a while but there's tons of perks to being in that one of those is getting five minutes early access to our vintage drop so everyone that got involved today got early access to this stuff so if what you saw was sold out by the time you got to it make sure you guys join the text message club because you guys can get early access moving forward as well as early access to our short drop coming soon um, free shipping just a bunch of discounts and stuff drew deals with all that send you guys some great deals to the text message club so you make sure you guys tune in as for this video the reason that you guys saw the b-roll and the reason we're here in Phoenix right now is to show you guys some of the content that we do, the way we market it, um, and you guys asked to see more behind the scenes stuff, so that's what we're gonna give you today. We got Crystal and Des from More Heat, our vintage guys, on the way right now, and uh, once they get here, we're gonna show you guys how we do it. All right, so our first stop, our first little location here, we made it into this alley. So when we're shooting some of our work, we like to find some creative spaces, something that if you're scrolling on a timeline or watching a video like this, something that'll make you stop and be interested in. So uh, my idea is to have hangers and we're just gonna hang stuff up on the fences. And I think that'd be a nice accent to get some pieces shot. I want some of these pieces to speak for themselves, but I also like the idea that like, when I'm shopping for something, I like to see someone wearing it so I can see what it, someone else looks like in it to see how the fit is and everything. So we like to do a mix of everything, a mix of both, some just stagnant and some with it on. That way you're not only tending to the people that are like me, they like to see it on someone, but some people that just like the plain and simple. Finding some creative spaces, we definitely were gonna hit a rooftop. It's kind of generic, but in downtown Phoenix, you can get a lot of cool shots up there, especially when the sun starts to set. You guys can see it's a really nice day, so we're gonna try and maximize off of that. And then also just accessorizing. So like vintage clothing, it's older. Shep, I had this older camera right here. Here. and so we're just kind of using it as a prop today stuff like this like it just kind of catches your eye it definitely fits the vibe that we're going for with the vintage so I just wore like a basic cutoff tee today and I kept it simple wear some vintage Carhartt pants and then shepe has got a vintage tee on right now and then he's got some essential swords so he's mixing some vintage with some newer stuff and we like to show that side of it and then we got just kind of like an all vintage fit and we're showing that side of it so we're trying to hit all the angles everyone has different tendencies when they're shopping so marketing towards people with different tastes and styles we like to just hit it all in one thing together we are Camille here here today male, uh, our female models we're not just doing men's vintage we want to make sure we show that um, it's we're doing some women's stuff as well and she's gonna model some of that stuff off for us all right so they just showed up the baby's here everyone's here you gotta fit check them real quick I guess right start down here uh black seven threes got a muse these are Ralph Lauren jeans those only boys core tee here got hat R.P. Virgil across the clock Shepard started down I got the phantom Jordan ones on I got the double knee Carhartt vintage pants and then the vintage Harley cutoff tee right here let me get you, Chef. Eh? Nah. Uh, All right, we can start off with the Ricks, Rick Owens. Damn. Uh, with some essential shorts and then this vintage tee that I bought off a random kid that was wearing it. I was like, I need it. This is just a vintage Bambi tee. I got these Amazon cargo pants, the Yeezers. There it is. Um, Russell Athletic vintage tee, leather mm -hmm. pants, platform. All right, so this was the shot I was just trying to explain to you guys. Hopefully it made sense, and this is what it ended up coming out as. So we got some pictures right here, and then we're just going to kind of use this alleyway. I really like the vibe of it, so we're going to find different ways to display some of these articles of clothing, and I think that's going to be a really unique way to market some of this stuff. Um, all these pieces, the thing about vintage is a lot of it's one of one in the sense that you're not going to see a lot of vintage pieces more than once, and if you do, it's probably a little bit more recent. You can attest to it, Des, like, oh, as far as vintage pieces, it's just very unique because you don't see a lot of the same thing twice. Yeah, a lot of them don't survive the 15, 20, 25 years, you know what I mean, at least in this condition. So when you do see a shirt, multiples of it, consider yourself lucky, or maybe yeah. there's a lot of those, but yeah, you're not going to see a lot of pieces more than once. So like even right here, this is just like a rail guard. Um, we don't have any pant hangers, or we could use some pant hangers, but I'm thinking of just even laying a pair of pants over that little rack right there and just kind of utilizing this little space here 
and if we have time we'll make it up to uh, a parking garage but you guys are going to see all of these shots um, in this video at some point and then again at the end of the video you'll see a slide of all the pictures we took today so um, i'm going to wrap it up as far as the vintage shooting today that's the vibe we're going to go for throughout the whole thing and you guys can see the, how the images turn out at the end but hope you guys like this little segment we're going to cut it right now to some footage at the store all right bro. got the fit check so we're going to start down low get the orange pearls on of course, summer. I always gotta bust these out. I don't know why I've been loving these so much lately. But you it is do what it love is. a good. They're just a nice color touch. I, I don't have to wear black and white. You wear black and white with this. This outfit just looks plain. You know, I feel you, man. A little pop. Got the Bound by Soul shorts on per usual. Comfy shorts in the game, and I got pockets for everything. Okay, Bri? <laughs> everything? Yeah, but I'm not gonna forget the T real quick, okay? Yeah. Because the world is yours. But in my pocket right here, Bri. Got this pocket size Sempered. Okay? Wow. Sempered sent us the Hugo Boss. The iced version. Okay. You're a boss. Pocket size, now available in the US and Canada. And Canada. Don't ever forget about the Canada wow. our Canadians out there. Okay, yeah. we love you guys. Holding right? it down. Holding it down. So we get a little spray of this Hugo Boss ice right here. Let me see. Let me get it with. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Is that icy? It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good, all right? And you guys can smell just as good using code TCH2. Okay, we're changing it up from the last one, so make sure you use this one. TCH2 for 50. 5% off, right? That's more than 50% off. That's 5% more than half. And let me tell you, Drew, it's not only available in the US, it's also available in Canada. And that can get you 55% off your first month. I think they should go at least investigate a little bit. Have to. See what other scents they have. Because I know you guys are all out, you know, networking, reselling every day at oh. events. You gotta smell good at all times. And with the pocket size tempered, they always got you. Make sure you use code TCH2 for 55% off. Click the link down below in the description. On to the next clip. All right, before we get into these unboxings, I gotta talk to you guys about the vintage green dunks right here. You guys have seen these on the channel before, the vintage navy dunks right here. And I wanna give you guys a couple comparisons between the two because although these were kind of their own little pack, the vintage pack, they did the shoe completely different on both of them. So I just wanna share my thoughts with you guys and then I wanna hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Staying up to date with some of these new releases, I, I really like to hear what you guys think about them. So right here is the vintage navy colorway. As you guys can see, it's a very matte navy, um, very flat in color. I think it looks perfect, the perfect age midsole. And then as you guys can see right here, this inner lining is the same dunk quality, um, that same material that they use for all of them. Now that's the vintage navy. For the vintage green right here, same shoe basically dropping at the same time, but this inner lining you guys can see is more of like a pinstripe kind of material. And then the green on this is the main kicker right here. So Drew, bring it in close. I wanna show them the comparison on the two colors right here. So as you guys can see, again, I mentioned this top is a matte navy, a flatter color. And then down here on the vintage green, it's more of a metallic shiny green. I couldn't tell that from online, getting them in hand now. I'm a little 50-50 on it. I was hoping that it would have been a flatter green, something a little more wearable. I don't know why they did the metallic green on them, but I do appreciate the little details and the inside. Also on the green, they did cream laces, which I think is really, really fire, as opposed to the vintage navies, which they did a white lace. So a couple different things about them. When you guys see pictures of these online, they make it look a little bit different. So catch these babies in 4K and see the differences between the two. But I really wish they would have done a flat green on them. Still a fire shoe though. I love that they added the cream lace. Kind of makes up for it a little bit, but I just want to talk about those because a lot of people have been looking forward to seeing those. But you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. We got Steve in store today. Rocking a fire fit, I must say, Steve-o. Really stepped out. Should we fit check Is Steve? that, yeah, I was gonna say, is that a cue? I learned from the best. Step out, Steve. Down on the feet. Got the mochas. Fit those jeans. I think I actually got these from more heat. Big fan. You see it? Yeah. What a fire tee. Did you pick that up? I don't know. I was in my room this morning. I was like, bro, I got no shirts. <laughs> and I looked and it was just there. There was a week where Steven didn't have socks and I think he posted on the Instagram feed and like Christmas, Christmas. socks. They're my dad's Christmas yeah, socks. It was we're February, <laughs> right? No, it was like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it was March. March. All right, even better. All right, Steve-O, we're going to let him bust him out. Maybe fit check me real quick, Drew. Bring it down the piggies. I got the swoosh pack Air Force oh, ones right here. So a cool. little dirty, but it's an older shoe. I've worn it a lot back in the day. I got the pants that I picked up at Kobe Swap Meet and then I got the brown sugar tea. Oh, so tough. Steven Sina. loves him some brown sugar and I do too, all right? What do we got? You tell them. No, you, you tell them. Wow. Oh, come on. They want to see. They don't want to hear what I have to say. They want to see. They want to hear you, Steve. Wow. All right. I got a lot of questions, though. Why are these called Team Red? Steve, they're I've not I've come red. to believe Nike just does whatever they want with their names because half their names And we just exist. believe That them. is not Was Team Bordeaux Red. Was Bordeaux too special? Yeah, they that's... Were like, you know what? We just... We can't be that different. Yeah, or you can say red. Bordeaux men's. Bro, someone the other day paid $94 for shipping. Listen, boys and girls, we've talked about this a million times. Shippo. 
pirate ship. Don't go to the post office and pay $94. That just ruins literally all your profit. <laughs> your you lost margin money. is gone. <laughs> wow. wow. Not expecting that one, Steve. Really? Big size, too. Brandon's on his A game recently. Listen, he's, Brandon's buying a lot. He's so if you have anything, make sure you hit the Discord down below. I was going to say, Brandon actually does pay really well on some stuff. Yeah, a little too well sometimes. Yeah. Brandon's lost but a lot of money. if they want to sell their inventory to us, Drew, hit the link down below. The Discord link can sell to us. Brandon will answer all your tickets. This is a men's size. Not, it's a women's size, but nine and a half men. 11, 11 W, nine and a half men. What if there's a girl with 11 W out there, Steve? She should hit my DM. <laughs> Whoa. Here's the amount Yamano, Yamo and I agreed upon. This is my first time doing business with you guys through the Discord and hopefully not the last. I look forward to you guys' videos every week. Keep up the good work. Shake my hand. Handshake. Some UC foams. Uh, what size? Uh, 11 and a half. It's a size 10. Where can they shop you, Drew? Oh, uh, if you follow our Instagram. Dude, That's I just went busy. crazy on the Instagram. I post every you shoe we have in here today. Wow. Yeah. Oh, crazy, Steve. Well, that one will be available hopefully on the story when you guys see that. That's not sold. Huge fan of your YouTube videos. Keep up the awesome content and shake my hand. Onyx. Wow. So it might be the best slide. I think so it far. is. What do you mean? I mean, it's 10. Black. 10 is a good color as well. That's true, but you wear black with everything. You are with black right you now. Need look those, great. You need those, I do no. need these. No, no, no. I'm waiting until the black, black foam runner. runner's good. Letter. I'm not a slide guy. I'm not folding. <laughs> Holding it down for the foam runner. Yeah, dude, don't be dumb like <laughs> the foam runner. Yeah. <laughs> the woke up like these community. Do you think this is funny to people that haven't been watching us that long? That like uh, they don't even know who you are, really. Yeah, they don't get the jokes. <laughs> but it's everyone so funny. knows who Drew is. Literally, Derek Henry follows him. That's all. That's all. You, that's all that needs to be. All it just was a nice shake of a hand. All right. Yeah. Wow. Of course they put it in there, right? Okay, at least they put it in there. They just had to get Tommy wow. going a little. They had a. They had a. Brandon's been up. buying these heavy. I've had to make a lot of POs for these. I wonder so what those match. Really good shoe. Look, don't don't okay. get mad, bro. But look, bro. Bryson <laughs> equal best fits. Okay. Steve equal best on boxer smiley face. Let's see. <laughs> Same size as the other one. Nine and a half men, 11 W. The quality on these is pretty nice. So you guys know the UNCs have dropped in the coast. This is a lighter version. And I actually really like this version a lot better. It's muted. It's, it's not a as lot like baby blue. Yeah. And blue. Did the you quality. Did you just say muted? Yeah. yeah. That is a great word, word right that. there. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Great word. And the quality of the swoosh is nice. Like they didn't keep the leather. They literally put that pattern on. And I don't know if it's consistently the same pattern. I would assume not. They're probably all a different, different, a little different. Yeah. So I really like these a lot. If you don't like the UNC colorway, which is like tough to wear, but you, the muted, this muted nice blue on here. They say it's a worn blue. Wow. That's what the name's called. First deal through the Discord. Oh yeah. Sad to see the Supreme Dunks go, but Yamo was moving, paying the high. Wow, we just were talking about oh, that. Of course he is. So I couldn't say no. Size 10, is it the green pair? No. Thank God, I would have taken those home. You, you like those? the highs? The green? What do you mean? Come you know, on, so brother. That's that's no, they're, they're yeah, hard. That's that shit. I have not right. seen those. Yes, you have. Green. Yes, you have. <laughs> we have them. We have a pair somewhere. So what? Maybe you're at Many Worlds. Cleaning no, your shoes. Where do you clean your shoes? Yeah. Keep going, Steve. Come on. I don't know the rest. You, I you know go. The rest. Steve. They gotta click the bitly link in the description. Oh wow. It automatically bitly. applies the discount. Do Dude, promo I things, Steve. Don't push me. I literally watched the last video this morning. Oh, Listen, you guys are gonna see a lot of these on the channel. Pure are restock those slides. Restocks? Yeah. These are honestly better than the first. I agree, actually. The quality, they look a little nicer, and I heard they're more comfortable. Really? Well, I thought you told me that. I love I free things, and I got mine for free, so. You did. I'm never buying another pair. That was a restock pair, too, right? <laughs> no, original. Rich. Wow, you're an original type of guy, Steve. Thanks, bro. Right. You're a great friend. We got one size 10 and two size 11s. Thanks for buying. Keep up the good work and grind. I think it's a dunk. <sighs> Wait a minute. That's not what I was hey, expecting. Hey, already passed, bro. At wow. all. Okay, so you guys know, I don't know if we've showed two, two tone grays on here yet. Do you yet. know what those are called? No. I don't. And they're I, called the Vivid Green or the Dark Chlorophyll. Well, because they're not available on StockX or Goat. No way. Yeah. So or that different. But where are they available? Comhighbz.com, shop 24-7, hit the size tab. Or you go under Nike, hit the Nike Dunk tab. I make it easy as possible shop for you guys. Those are sick. But so these are EU. How these would dropped I in that? the EU. And they're just like the two-tone. So they've been doing a lot of two-tone dunks, as you guys know, like Georgetown's obviously, right? But with this, they did this nice little green with the white swoosh. If they didn't do the white swoosh, this would they have did missed. A, if they did a green lace, it would have missed. It would have missed. But they kept this one OG, triple OG for us, all right? Triple this one's good. We got a pair of Onyx slide, size 6, size 9, and size 11. And then a restocked pair of the Pure, size 9 and 11. If you guys don't know, we have full-size runs of both of these. So you can shop those at commonhypez.com. And Whoa. we're going to be announcing the giveaway winner. I winners. was going to say, if well, I you read your mind. entered the giveaway, you can get for a free For the Kobe pair. video. Yep. Go watch there. the Kobe video. Go enter there. Go like, comment, and subscribe. We'll pick one soon this week. 
So stay tuned for that and watch out. So you guys, last chance to enter, go enter right now. It's Can literally I free. Enter? Yeah. I already subscribed though. All you gotta do is drop a comment. Wow, and a like. And a like. Go to Unboxing Steve. <laughs> he switched it this time. All right, first and foremost, Vintage shorts, you'll see a couple of these, maybe not on today's drop, but next week's drop for sure. I know we're just getting these in, so we need to get some product pictures and everything, but uh, get your vintage, okay? You're seeing this video, go check out the website, see if there's any left. If you missed out, don't worry, we'll have one every single week after that, but um, hopefully you guys get a little preview of, of exactly what's to come. But the reason why most of you are here right now is for the investment call in this video. Uh, you guys love these investment calls, and again, it seems like every time we do one of these, the price of this shoe, always goes up right after. Happened with Light Smoke Gray women's pairs, and then recently I called the Red Thunder Fours like a week ago, and they're already up like 20 to 30 bucks a pair already. So if you guys see this, it's never too late. Just be sure to buy your pairs ASAP because market does tend to go up. Market's been a little weird lately just because a lot of shoes are in that 200, 180 to 220-ish range for men's dunks and uh, GS and women's dunks. So we've seen 75th anniversaries right now. We've seen Venice dunks. We've seen Harvest Moon dunks. We've seen Core Purple dunks, and then we've seen the new two-tone gray dunks. So lots of dunks releasing, which means there's a lot of market saturation because I feel like people can't buy as much as Nike's producing right now. But this is a shoe that I'm really confident in right now for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a Chicago colorway. Now the Chicago Bulls are making a run in the playoffs. You guys know I'm a huge Chicago Bulls fan, so I'm a little biased on this shoe. However, how was, the, how was the game last night, bro? It was, you know, I went to the Suns game with my girl and, uh, they got killed. Levine only had 12 points. And my boy Waleed put three grand on Waleed to score 23. And he only scored 12. So <laughs> Waleed, if you're watching this, bro, you're down there. You almost had it, bro. Yeah, you almost had it. I do like the, the thought of this shoe just because if they do make the playoffs, and they will, and if they make a deep run, which I don't know if they will or not, but if they do, I can see this shoe going up a lot, especially out in the East Coast where there's a lot of Bulls fans. There's also a lot of Bulls fans in Phoenix, so probably a lot of people like these. But I also really like this shoe just because of the color blocking. You got that nice um, black on the midsole, you got the black swoosh, but then you have like an off cream on both the toe box and the mid panel right here the lace lock i really love the details it's like a diamond lace lock um, at the end here you have the 75th anniversary nba on the tongue and that red just really pops we saw these in europe when they first released and before they released they were at like 280 ish bigger sizes were now markets anywhere from like 180 to 210 to 220 on these so i really think this is a 300 dollars shoe and even more if the bulls make a ginormous playoff run the 75th brooklyn nets stunks not so much a fan of um, even though the nets are probably going make a deeper run than the bulls are i just really believe in this shoe it's just purely based on the color blocking really like this shoe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i think this shoe is going to hit 300 to 350 dollars long term especially come christmas time when everybody's buying again but with gas prices really high right now in the market because it's kind of weird with the world war three happening over in russia and ukraine the market's just kind of a little bit down but uh you can always find some gems when the market is down and i really think that the chicago 75ths are going to go up can i make a point b sure not only with the chicago thing but any black, white, and red Nike colorway, bread fours, bread ones, bread toes, anything bread really, mm -hmm. even those bread lows over there, always does well. I agree. And there's not that available option that looks that good in a dunk at all. Closest thing that's is something... St. John, but that's strictly white and red. That Chicago black toe vibe right there, yes. you don't see that a lot. Yeah, I mean, again, if we look at some of these other dunks that have released, I mean, even the, the championship reds that are just a pure white and red base, literally just the reverse of St. John's hitting 250 to 280 right now. And that was a dunk that people were eh about really 160 post release and they have spiked over time. Same thing with the Georgetowns, but again, Navy and gray just doesn't do as good as the black, red and white, but this isn't white, it's cream. So it's different, which is why I think a lot of people like them. Um, but again, dunks are crazy right now. We've called gold runs. Um, a little bit a while ago we called michigan states so do with that information with what you would like to if that makes sense does that make sense Chepe? yeah it makes sense. okay cool it makes sense anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that investment call um again if you did just leave a like it's free all right good chefs got it first they've been buying up here so if you're wondering wow market already shot up as soon as this video went live good chefs are up that's all i gotta say and we're not gonna restock good chefs again for like another month so uh if you slept you slept i really hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to again leave a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thank you guys for always tuning in and we will see you guys um, at the events upcoming. We have SneakerCon San Antonio this weekend. The week after that, we have Sneaker Session Orlando, Florida. Day after that, we have SneakerCon at, or excuse me, Sneaker Exit Atlanta. And then end of the month, we have God Soul in New York. So lots of events coming up. Can't wait to meet a lot of you guys. Um, keep buying shoes and uh, keep supporting us. Have a